myself up as usual, but it's up to you. You can always use a cushion as well. Morning, Janet. <laughs> nice to see you. So take a deep inhale. Come cross-legged on your mat. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, close your eyes. Go with it. Another deep inhale. Exhale through the mouth. Sigh it out. Just take this time to really arrive here on the mat for your practice. Nothing else matters for the next hour. It's just you, your breath, your mind, your body. Just stay with it. And now I would like you to bring your attention to your heart and just remember a moment where you felt proud of yourself, when you've achieved something, when you've been humbled by somebody doing something for you. Just that feeling of feeling that sensation of that glow inside and you felt really, really good. You feel like, yes, I've got this, I've achieved this and hold on to that feeling. Just keep holding on to that feeling. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, let go of anything that stands in the way of this, of any self-criticism, any judgment, any inner critic, just let it go. Know that you can always have that feeling in your heart that you've done this, you're good, you're enough, you're proud of yourself, you are amazing. Just remember that feeling. It's just like with the fruit. So if you're gonna choose a mango to eat, are you gonna eat a rotten mango or are you gonna eat a ripe, very juicy, very nice mango? So it goes the same with our thoughts. If we choose which thoughts we think, so we choose if we're going to think a rotten thought, or we're going to think a very nice thought, and we consciously can choose to think a very nice, good thought and surround ourselves with those good, positive thoughts. Keeping that glow in your heart. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out. Let it go. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, slowly open your eyes, looking down at first. Today we will do a bit of mandala practice, that it will mean we will move around the mat. I've avoided that practice because we are doing it online and you can't quite see sometimes, but I will talk you through it and you'll be absolutely fine. So if you'd like to just sit in the Japanese kneeling while I show you what we're going to do. So tuck your toes under, so we're going to do a nice foot stretch. So tuck your toes under, maybe you help your little toes to go under as well. And just sit yourself in the Japanese kneeling. So welcome to those who just joined us. Come seated in the Japanese kneeling and tuck your toes under. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, say it out. So now I'm just going to stay there, stay in Japanese kneeling. I'm just going to demo what we're going to do. So from downward facing dog, we're going to point the toe and then we're going to bend the knee, send it to the left armpit, extend it, step it out, fall in triangle. Look up to the hand, release the hand down, point the toe high into the sky, step it forward. Inhale, easy twist, so big circle. From here, ninja lunge on the front side, then moving back to the back of the mat, to the left foot, ninja lunge, then releasing right hand, left hand over, so easy twist. At the back, all we're gonna do is this, and a vinyasa. Inhale, and as you exhale, downward facing dog. And then it goes again, the same, right foot again at the back, then thread it through, Fall in triangle. Exhale, release left hand down, right foot high into the sky. Step it forward, easy twist. Ninja lunge on the right side and move it back. And that's it, we're at the front. We're at the front of the mat and then step it back. So with mandala, we do it twice on each side. So we'll do it twice on the right leg, we do it twice on the, uh, 
on the left leg, but don't worry, I'll take you through it. So from your Japanese knee leg and your toes tucked, untuck the toes and just bash them on the mat, just release them. Very good. And then come into neutral tabletop. As you inhale, open the heart, open the chest, drop the back, lift the tailbone, lift the head up. Bittalasana, cow pose. As you exhale, send the head down, dome the shoulders, dome the back, push the hips forward, tuck the belly in, Maria Riasana, cat pose. Inhale, open the heart, open the chest. Exhale, dome the back, find your Maria Riasana. Inhale, open the heart, open the chest, shine your heart. Exhale, dome the back. Maria Riasana. Inhale, open the heart, open the chest. Exhale, down the back, send the head down. One more time. Inhale, open the heart, open the chest. Exhale, down the back, send the head down. From here, walk the hands just a little bit further forward in front of you. Tuck the toes under, send the hips high into the sky for our first downward facing dog. Inhaling, exhaling. So paired on the feet here, awaken the dog to so do any movements that your body requires. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, come to the balls of the feet, lift the heels off the mat. And then send both heels to the right. So we're stretching the left side of the body. Inhale, bring the heels back up to the sky. Exhale, release the heels to the left. One more on each side. Inhale, heels high into the sky. And then release to the right. Inhale, lift the heels off the mat. Exhale, heels to the left. Inhale, come back up, downward facing dog. Intend for the heels to lower towards the mat. They don't have to reach, just the intention is there. From here, bend the knees and sit yourself down as if you're sitting in a chair. So Utkatasana. Utkatasana, but from downward facing dog. It's an interesting place to be in. So release the knees as low as you can to the mat without touching the mat. It's intense. Inhaling. Exhaling, sink deeper. One more breath. And as you exhale, send the hips high into the sky, straighten the knees, enjoy. One more breath here. And as you exhale, walk a hundred little steps towards the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen when you get there. Exhale, fold. Interlace the hand behind the back, send the hands high, high, high into the sky and fold forward, just surrender. Surrender. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, release the hands down. Slowly like a ragdoll, maybe swinging from side to side. Lift yourself up to standing. With the shoulders and the head coming up last. Then roll the shoulders back. Inhale, send both hands high into the sky. Look up to the thumbs. Small back bend if you wish. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, Adi Uttanasana. Exhale, release the hands down. Step, hop, jump to the back if you're ready. Chaturanga, not too low. Inhale, up dog. Look up, shine your heart forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, we begin our mandala. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Point the toes. Exhale, right knee to the chest. Kiss the knee. Mwah. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right armpit. Right tricep, right elbow, whatever you can make it. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Point the toes. Exhale, right knee to the left armpit and then step it through. Find your fallen triangle. Left hand goes high into the sky. Variation of the side plank. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the left hand down. Send the right foot high into the sky. Point the toes. 
strong here, ripple forward into almost high plank, keep the right knee bent and point with your foot to the wall in front of you. So where is that wall? There it is, point it with your toe. And then from here, step the right foot forward between the hands, left hand down on the mat, right hand lifts, high into the sky, make a circle. From here, ninja lunge or crouch and tiger. Ninja lunge, skandasana. So sitting down low, then moving to the back. If you're doing crouch and tiger, it's just a little bit higher. From here to here. At the back of the mat, right hand goes down, left hand goes high into the sky. Circle, release it down, step the left foot back, flow for your vinyasa. That's all we need to do at the back, just flow for your vinyasa. You can do this. And as you exhale, downward facing dog. So exactly the same thing as we've just done, but at the back of the mat. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the to chest, kiss the knee. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Point the toes, right knee to the right elbow, right armpit. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the left Armpit, step it through. Find your fallen triangle. Left hand high into the sky. Exhale, release it down. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Right hand raises, easy twist. Make a circle. Then find Skandasana on the right foot, ninja lunge. From here, as low as you can, move to the front of the mat. Release the right hand down, left hand goes high into the sky, easy twist. Release the left hand, step it back. We should all be in the front of the mat, yes. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhaling, exhaling. Find that Utkatasana that I've showed you previously. So bend the knees and lower the knees as much as you can. Push through the hands. So it's Utkatasana, but from downward facing dog. So it's a chair pose, but we're pushing through the hands and we're pushing through the toes. One more breath there, it's intense. And as you exhale, release the knees, so straighten the knees. Find your downward facing dog. Same, same on the left side. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Point the toes, think of it as a dance. Exhale, left knee to chest, kiss that knee. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, left knee to the left armpit. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Point the toes. Exhale, left knee to the right armpit, step it through. Fall in triangle, right hand high into the sky. It's a variation on the side plank. Make it a dance, make it slow. Exhale, release the right hand down, send the left foot high into the sky. From here, ripple forward, high plank, but keep the left foot high into the sky and point to the wall in front of you. Point to that wall in front of you. Where's that wall? There it is, there it is. And then step it forward between the hands. Inhale, easy twist, the left hand high into the sky, make a circle. Skandasana, the ninja lunge on the left knee, left foot. Now moving back to the back of the mat, to the right foot, skandasana on the right foot, release the left hand down, right hand high into the sky, circle, release it down, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Same, same, still left side. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Exhale, knee to chest, kiss that knee. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the right elbow, right armpit. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, left knee to the right armpit, step it through. Find your fallen triangle, right hand high into the sky, variation of side plank. Release the right hand down, send the left foot high into the sky. Bend the knee, ripple forward into high plank. Show me that wall. Where is that wall in front of you? Point your toe, point your toe. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, easy twist, left hand goes high into the sky. Make it a circle. Then find your ninja lunge on the left side. As low as you can, move to the right side, to the front of the mat. Left hand down, right hand high into the sky. Easy twist. 
release the right hand, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adi Mukha Shvanasana. Inhale, come to the balls of the feet. Bend the knees and send both heels to the right. So we're Utkatasana, we're twisting to the right. Inhale, come back downward facing jaw. Exhale, both heels to the left side. Sending the heels to the left side and squatting, Utkatasana. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, both heels to the right. Inhale, yes, we're getting warm. <laughs> downward facing dog. Exhale, both heels to the left. Inhale, come back to downward facing dog. Take a breath there. And as you exhale, come to the balls of the hip, feet. Look between the hands, step hop, jump to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the hands high into the sky. Look up to your hands. Exhale, hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Close your eyes there, just breathe. Feel the energy that you've just created. Stay with this mandala, stay with this meditation, moving meditation. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, send both hands high into the sky. Make a circle with the hands into mandala. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, release hands down. Step hop, jump to the back. Chaturanga. Not too low. Inhale. Up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, inhaling, exhaling, inhale, right foot goes high into the sky, and now we'll skip all those taps and we just go straight to fallen triangle, so right knee to the left armpit, step it through, fallen triangle, maybe you keep the right foot off the mat, it's hovering in the sky. Exhale, release the left hand down, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, point the toe, bend the knees, point the toe, ripple forward into high plank and show me where's that wall in front of you, with your toes. Where is that wall in front of you? Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, circle the right hand high into the sky, easy twist. Exhale, ninja lunge on the right side or crouch and tiger. Feel free to be here. It's your choice, your practice. Then moving back to the back of the mat. Easy twist, left hand high into the sky. Exhale, release left hand down, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adi Mukha Shonasana. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the left armpit, step it through, fall in triangle, maybe you keep the right foot hovering above the ground, your choice. Exhale, release the left hand down, send the right foot high into the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it forward between the hands, easy twist, right hand high into the sky. Exhale, ninja lunge on the right side at the back of the mat. Then moving as low as you can, maybe use your hands to the left side, to the front of the mat. Easy twist there. Exhale, release left hand, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adi Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, and we're going to twist to the left side with the heels, and as you do this, release the right hand, so we're gonna hover the right hand, go down, and then release up into side plank, and then release the right hand down. The same, we twist the heels to the right, left hand comes off the mat, send it high into the sky and forward into side plank. So we're making circles here. Release the both heels to the left, Hold the right hand on the mat and then circle it up. Beautiful mandalas. One on each side. So twist the heels to the right. Hold the left hand and then high into the sky. Twist the heels to the left. Hold the right hand on the mat and then high into the sky. Make it a circle. Make it a dance. Release the right hand down. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha. 
Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Stay same on the left side. Who's getting warm? Inhale, left foot high into the sky, point the toes. Exhale, right knee, to, left knee to the right armpit, step it through, fall in triangle, maybe you hover the left foot. Exhale, release the right hand down, send the left foot high into the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, ripple forward, high plank, point that toe to the wall in front of you, the wall you're facing. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, easy twist, circle the hand. Exhale, ninja lunge, left side, front of the mat. And then moving as low as you can to the back of the mat. Maybe you use your hands, release left hand down, right hand circles around. Exhale, release the right hand back, step it back, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. Exactly the same, still on the left. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Exhale, left knee to the right armpit. Step it through, maybe you float. Right hand high into the sky, fall in triangle. Right hand releases down, left foot high into the sky. Exhale, ripple forward, high plank. Send the left foot forward, point the toes. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, easy twist, circle the left hand. Find ninja lunge or crouching tiger on the left side. So I'm going to do crouching tiger for once. And then move it forward to the front, to the right leg. Release left hand down, turn onto the left toes. Circle is an easy twist. Release the right hand down, step it back. Flow for your vinyasa. Chaturanga, not too low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. From here, remember those circles we did. So inhale, lift on the balls of the feet. Exhale, both heels to the right. Hover the left hand on the mat. Make a big circle. Send it over, ending up in a side plank. Release the left hand down. Turn them on the toes, heels to the left. Hover the right hand on the mat and then circle it forward. Make it a dance. Enjoy it. Smile. Both heels to the right. Hover the hand. Left hand over. Release it down. Heels to the left. Hover the right hand. Send it over. So good for us. But isn't it beautiful as well to watch you guys? Turn the heels to the right. Left hand high. And then Chaturanga Dandasana, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha, downward facing dog. Inhaling. And as you exhale, come to the balls of the feet. Bend the knees, look between the hands, step, hop, jump to the front lightly. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the hands high into the sky. Exhale, hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Close your eyes, breathe. Feel the fire, the energy you just created. Feel that dance. Inhale, open the hands to the side, so push the air away. And then bring the energy back in front of your heart. Inhale, both hands high into the sky, look up to the thumb, small back, bend if you wish. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, release hands down, step, hop, jump to the back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, shine the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the left armpit. And now see if you can hook the right heel over the left knee. Lift the left hand high into the sky. And you kind of squat. So it's a bit of a half lotus there. Inhale, and as you exhale, release the left hand down into the mat, send the right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Inhale, right hand high into the sky, easy twist. We're back to our mandala, so Skandasana Ninja Lunge on the right foot, moving slowly to the back of the mat, left, right hand down, left hand high into the sky. Release it down, step it back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha. 
Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Same, same, still on the right side. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. Exhale, right knee to the left armpit. And then see if you can hook that right foot over the left knee. Lift the hand up and squat a little bit. So it's a bit of an Utkatasana on the left side. Inhale. And as you exhale, release the left hand down. Send the right foot high into the sky. And then step it through between the hands. Inhale, easy twist, right hand high into the sky. Exhale, ninja lunge on the right foot. And then we're moving back to the front. Left hand, right hand down, left hand high into the sky. Exhale, release left hand down, step it back, flow for your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Breathing there, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, ripple forward into high plank. Keep it there. So dome the shoulders, strong, strong high plank. Through the crown of the head, through the heels, strong mind, strong body. From here, turn the heels to the right. So the body stays where it is. It's just the heels that go to the right. I know it's a bit of a torture. <laughs> Sorry. So keep the shoulders as they are. And both heels go to the side, but it's good for you. Challenge is a good thing as well. Inhaling. Exhaling. If it's too much, do it on the knees. Place the knees down. Place the knees down. No problem. Inhaling. Exhaling. Two more reps. Make them long. Make them count. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more. Last beautiful breath. And as you are coming back to the center, guess what? We're going to do it on the other side. So heels to the left. Keep the shoulders as they are. Just put the toes down. Put the heels down to the left. Inhaling for one. Exhaling. Keep the shoulders as they are. Dome in the shoulders. If it's too much, place the knees down, but stay on your side. So the front of the body is facing forward, but the bottom of the body is turning sideways. I'll give you one more breath. And as you exhale, come back to the center, lower down for your vinyasa, enjoy. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Here we have five breaths. So it's your choice what you'd like to do. Options are Chow Pais or releasing both elbows down onto the mat and finding your dolphin. So releasing elbows onto the mat, maybe the thumbs touch, so find the good variation for you. And then walk the feet up as much as you can and just stay there. I'll give you one breath already. Stay there, there for four breaths, but feel free to be in child pose. It's a good choice. Just listen to your body what it needs this morning. Just two more breaths here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, and as you exhale, coming back to downward facing dog, whichever way you can, downward facing dog, send the hips high into the sky, inhale, left foot goes high into the sky, point the toe, exhale, left knee to the right armpit, and then maybe either full and triangle that we've been doing or left foot over the right knee and squat. It's half lotus in Utkatasana. It's a lot of fun. Exhale, release the right hand down. Send the left foot high into the sky. Exhale, left foot steps forward between the hands. Inhale, easy twist. Left hand high into the sky. Exhale, ninja lunge on the left side or crouching tiger, whichever one. Then moving back to the back of the mat, left hand down, right hand high into the sky, easy twist. Release the right hand down, step it back, flow through your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Shanasana. Same, same, left side. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky, point the toes. Exhale, left knee to the right armpit. Either you step it through and find full and triangle, or you hook the left knee over the right and squat. Utkatasana, chair. Inhaling. 
And as you exhale, release the right hand down, send the left foot high into the sky. Exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands. Easy twist, left hand high into the sky, make it a circle. Exhale, left, a ninja lunge on the left side. Then moving swiftly to the front side of the mat, to the right knee. Right hand high into the sky, easy twist. Exhale, release the right hand down, step it back, floor for your vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adi Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, come into the balls of the feet, bend the knees, look between the hands, step hop, jump to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the hands high into the sky. Lift up to the thumbs. Exhale, hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Breathing there. We've done three mandalas. Very well done. You've got this. Inhale, send both hands to the sides. Push the air away. Exhale, bring the energy back to your heart. Inhale, send both hands high into the sky. Look up to the thumbs. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, release, hands down, step, hop, jump to the back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky, point the toes. Exhale, open the hip up. Send the right knee high into the sky, open the hip. Inhale, re-extend the right foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Root the left foot, square the hips to the front. Inhale, warrior one, you are there. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. And as you inhale, open the heart, interlace the hands behind the back, straighten the right knee, open the heart, shine the heart forward. And as you exhale, re-bend the right knee, humble warrior, fold forward. We aim for the crown of the head to reach the right toe. That's just the intention. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, lift up. Find yourself in the warrior two. You might need to reshuffle the heels so the heels are in one line. Hips are opening to the side. Ribcage opening to the side. Looking towards the right hand. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, lengthen through the right palm, flip the palm, reverse the warrior. Left hand wraps around, reaches for the right thigh or holding on the small of the back. Maybe you lift the right heel off the mat. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath in this reverse warrior. And as you exhale, warrior two. Straighten the right knee. Step the left foot just a little bit closer. Lengthen through the right palm. Send it down. Tita Trikonasana. Left hand high into the sky. Look up towards the left thumb. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, coming back up. Step the left foot just a little bit closer in, just a meter between the, hand, the legs. Inhale, square the hips to the front, both hands high into the sky. Exhale, left hand goes down, right hand high into the sky. To help yourself, you can use the right hand on the small of the back, lengthen, rotate, twist, and then extend it high into the sky. Strong, strong body. There's so much we're doing right now. We're just reversing the trikonasana, a bit of geometry here. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, 
exhaling one more breath you've got this exhale release the right hand down bend into the right knee and lift the left leg off the mat parallel to the ground the hands the fingertips are still down onto the mat breathe in there three breaths inhaling exhaling strong back leg inhaling exhaling Lift the right hand off the mat, come bring it to the heart. Bend the right knee slightly and then lift the left hand. Re-extend the right knee, you're in warrior three. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. From here, release the right hand down onto the mat. Start opening the hip up. Maybe use the block. Maybe use the water bottle underneath the right hand. Find your Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Left hand high into the sky. Left leg is strong. Point the toes. Flex the toes. Do something with the toes. Find your Mula Bandha. Find your pelvic floor. Strong, strong body. If you normally try a Chapasana, try a Chapasana sugar cane. So sending the left hand towards the left foot, bending the left knee. Find that bind, either grabbing the top of the foot or the ankle, whatever you can do, and then have a back bend here. Really open the back. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. And then release the left foot. Find your Ardha Chandrasana, release the left hand down, find your standing splits. <laughs> your legs are on fire, I know. Send both hands down, left foot high into the sky. The fire is good. It's a good challenge. There's little baby yogis there as well. Send the left foot high into the sky. Maybe you have a little jump here. If you're practicing your hands, handstand, a few hops, a few jumps. See what it feels like. One more breath. And then step the left foot back. Flow for your vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha. Exhale, Adi Mukha Svanasana. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale, come to both the feet. Look between the hands. Step, hop, jump to the front. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle the hands high into the sky. Exhale, hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Release the hands down by your sides. Inhale, Utkatasana, chair pose. Hovering above the chair. Finally, normal chair, not in down dog. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, hover halfway. Find that balance. So connect the tummy to the thighs, hovering halfway. I know, we're on fire, but it's good. We're getting stronger. Inhaling. Exhaling. Just one more breath. Make it long. Make it count. Imagine that I'm holding your hands. I'm pulling your hands. I'm pulling your hands forward. Come on. And as you exhale, release both hands down onto the mat. Options here, Malasana squat. So you're just squatting with wide legs. Or Bakasana, crab pose. So sending both knees towards the armpits. And then maybe lifting one foot up. Maybe lifting both feet up. If both feet come up, send them to your buttocks. Touch the toes. Sitting in Malasana squat is good. So good for you. Stay there in your Malasana. Two more breaths here. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhale. And as you exhale, shoot back to Chaturanga. Step back. Floor for your vinyasa. Chaturanga not too low. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adi Mukha Svanasana. Inhale, send the left foot high into the sky. Point the toe. Exhale, open the hip up, send the left knee high into the sky. Inhale, re-extend the left foot high into the sky. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Ground the right foot, 45 degrees, square the hips to the front. 
Inhale, warrior one, you are there. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. Then open the hands and interlace the hands behind the back. Straighten the left knee. Shine the heart into the sky. Exhale, rebend the left knee. Humble warrior. Send the hands above the head. Imagine you're sending the crown of the head towards the left foot. Towards the left toe. So crown of the head towards the left toe. See if you can reach that. It's fun. Just some tension is there. Don't worry. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling for two, exhaling. Inhaling for three, and then there's a lifting up. Find your warrior two. You might need to adjust the heels slightly. So heels are in one line, hips opening to the side, chest opening to the side. Open the hands, shoulders away from the ears. Inhaling for two, exhaling. Inhaling for three. And then lengthen the left palm, flip the palm, send it high into the sky. Wrap the right arm around, reach for the left thigh. Keep that bend to 90 degrees into the left knee. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. Then coming back to warrior two. Straighten the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the left palm, send it down, Uttita Trikonasana, right hand high into the sky. Look towards your right thumb, inhaling, exhaling, feel free to shorten the stance if it's too much. Inhaling, exhaling, where is your Malibanda? Find your Malibanda so your pelvic floor, squeeze. One more breath and as you exhale, coming back up to your T, step the right foot Slightly closer in, square the hips to the front, both hands high into the sky, right hand down, left hand either on the small of the back till you rotate that rib cage and then send the left hand high into the sky. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Look towards the left thumb if it's available. And as you exhale, release the left hand down, bend into the left knee, lift the right leg off the ground. Parallel to the ground. Strong, strong legs, stay there. Inhaling for one, exhaling. Maiden hands on the blocks of books, exhaling. One more breath. Lift the left hand to the heart, bend the left knee slightly, and then lift the right hand to the heart, straighten the left knee. Strong warrior three. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath till you release the left hand down onto the mat or onto the block, onto a bottle of water. Start opening up into Adha Chandrasana, half moon. Maybe you don't fall like I just did. <laughs> find your Willabandha, find your Drishti. So just look into one spot. If you do the Chapasana on the other side, then bend the right knee, send the right hand to the right foot, and then open up, have a small back bend there. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, Exhaling, one more breath and re-extend the right foot. Send the right hand high into the sky and then release the right hand down and find standing splits. You can open the hip here if it feels good so you can go higher, standing splits. I know you're on fire. Challenge is such a good thing, makes us stronger. So maybe a few hops if you did it on the other side, working towards your headstand, a few hops. One more breath, and then step, jump back, Chaturanga Vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Shonasana. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, come to the balls of the feet, bend the knees, step, hop, jump to seated halfway through the mat. Find your Navasana, both pose. Lift the legs high, 
Straighten them as much as you can. Hands forward, your hands maybe holding the thighs. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open up to half Navasana, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, bring the knees to your collarbones. Inhale, open up. Exhale, knees to the collarbones. Inhale, open up. Exhale, knees to the collarbones, hold it there. Maybe you straighten the legs just a little bit more. Don't compromise the back. Sit up tall and straight. Exhale, cross the ankles over. Right knee over the left, right ankle over the left. Roll forward, release hands down, step hop, jump to the back. Inhale, Udva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Shavasana. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky, point the toe. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Stand on the left toes, left heel off the mat. Inhale, crescent lunge, low lunge. Feel free to release the left knee down here. That will make it just a little bit easier. Inhaling, exhaling. All together, let's lower the left knee just a little bit towards the mat without touching the mat. So you can feel how the hips have gone down. It's harder. And then from here, just extend the left leg back. Extend the left leg back. Your glutes are on fire, the legs are on fire. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath. Then hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate to the right, hooking the left elbow over the right knee. Again, remember you can always place the left knee down. No harm to do that. It's just as good. You're still massaging your internal organs. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, coming back to crescent lunge. And then from here, leaning forward. Rocket, rocket, crescent lunge. Leaning, leaning forward till you lift yourself up into warrior three. Hands in the prayer. Exhale, release both hands down. Standing splits. Clearing the standing splits. Bit of a fun variation in the standing splits. So send the left foot to the left and look at your toes. <laughs> I know it's a killer. So send the left foot back into standing splits and then send it to the left of yourself. Look towards your toes. Inhale, left foot high into the sky. Standing splits. Exhale, left foot to the left. Look at your toes. And then left foot high into the sky. Bend the left knee. And then bend it over the right knee. And then sit yourself down. Sit yourself down onto the hips with the legs interlaced. Right hand behind the back. Maybe use the block underneath the hips. Inhale, left hand high into the sky. Exhale, hook it over the right knee. I'm all entangled, left, right, I don't know what's, what's going on anymore. Look over the right shoulder. Inhaling, exhaling. If you're practicing for your bind here, you can hook the right left hand underneath the knee, send the right hand behind, see if the fingers meet. Quite tricky. Probably need extra long hands for that. And then looking over the right shoulder. One more breath here. And as you exhale, Find your Navasana, so release out of here. Find your Navasana, both pose. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale, open up, Ardha Navasana, halfway, hover above the ground. Exhale, knees to collarbones. Inhale, open up, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, knees to collarbones. Inhale, open up, Ardha Navasana, you've got this. Exhale, knees to collarbones. Inhale, cross the right ankle over the left. Roll forward. Release the hands down. Step hop, jump, chaturanga, vinyasa. Inhale, Urva Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha, Shanasana. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky, point the toe. Exhale, step it forward between the hands. Square the hips, stay on the right toes. Inhale, crescent lunge. You are there. Inhaling, exhaling. 
Feel free to release the right knee down to be in the, yeah, bye Sheena, <laughs> to be in the <laughs> low lunge. Or release the right knee just a little bit lower down to create that fire. And then it re-extend the right leg, but keep the hips as low as they were. Yes, it's good. Inhaling. And as exhale, well, hands in the prayer in front of the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, rotate to the left, hooking the right elbow over the right knee. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. Imagine you're dialing, your right left elbow is 12 o'clock and your right elbow is 6 o'clock. Inhaling, and as you exhale, come back to crescent lunge, both hands high into the sky. Exhale, start leaning, leaning, leaning forward till you lift yourself up into warrior three. Hands in the prayer in front of the heart. One more breath. And as you exhale, release the hands down into standing splits. Inhaling. Exhaling. You can open the hip up here to make it higher. And as we did on the other side, send the right foot to the right so you can look at the toes. Very good, you've got this. Inhale, right foot high into the sky, standing splits. Exhale, right foot to the side so you can look at your toes. Inhale, right foot high into the sky. Exhale, right foot to the side so you can look at your toes. Exhale, send it high into the sky. Bend the right knee, send it over the left knee, bend into the left knee and sit yourself down, cross-legged. So left foot is over the right knee. Turn to your left, left hand behind the back, right hand high into the sky. And then as you exhale, right elbow over the left knee. Looking over the left shoulder. If you try to bind on the other side, feel free to thread the right hand through, grab it with the left hand. Inhaling, exhaling, inhaling, exhaling. One more breath, sit up tall and straight, lengthen through the crown of the head. And as you exhale, find your Navasana, untangle the legs, Navasana both poses. Straighten the legs as much as you can. Straighten the back. Breathe in there. Inhale, Adha Navasana, hover above the ground, above the mat. Exhale, both knees to the collarbones. Inhale, Adha Navasana. Exhale, knees to collarbones. Inhale, Adha Navasana. Exhale, knees to the collarbones, cross the ankles over, point the toes, roll forward, release hands down, step hop, jump to the back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Udra Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha Shvanasana. Inhale, right foot goes high into the sky. <laughs> Here comes fire alarm. They're making breakfast. <laughs> Open the hip up, keep sending the right knee high into the sky. And then step it back behind you if it's available. Lower the hips momentarily and then find your uh, wild thing, Kamatkarasana. Bend into the left knee and then send the hips high into the sky, right hand over. And as you exhale, lower the hips down towards the mat, send the right hand forward. Inhale, open the heart, open the chest. Inhale, send the right hand forward, bend the knees, bend the out, send the hips to the ground. Inhale, open the heart, open the chest. One more time, right hand forward, dance. And then releasing the right hand down, send the left foot high into the sky, and then release it down onto the mat. Inhale, left foot goes high into the sky. Open the knee, bend the knee, open the hip. And then keep leaning, leaning back till the left foot goes down onto the mat. Inhale, come up, caress in a wild thing. Bend into the right knee, lower the hips down, left hand forward. Inhale, send the hips high into the sky, right hand over. Exhale, send it forward. Inhale, left hand high into the sky, forward. 
exhale, hips to the heels. One more time. And then release the left hand down, send the left foot high into the sky. And then release it down into the mat. Inhale. And as you exhale, come into the balls of the feet, bend the knees, step, hop, jump halfway through the mat. And sit yourself down. Release the heels down onto the mat. And then slowly with control, lower yourself down, all the way down. Place the heels quite close to the hips. And then from here, either a bridge where you lift the hips up, interlace the hands behind the back. Or if you feel ready, come into full wheel, Udva Dhanurasana. So hands by the shoulders. Inhale, lift up onto the crown of the head and lift up. It's naturally not a very pleasant place for us to be in. It's a very vulnerable place to be in because all your internal organs are on show. Just two more breaths here. Exhale. Inhale. And as you exhale, tuck the chin in and lower all the way down. Swing the knees from side to side. And here's an option of second bridge or second wheel or restorative bridge. So if you fancy a restorative bridge, then place the block underneath the small of the back and just rest there. Inhaling, exhaling. So on the inhale, come into your chosen back bend. So full wheel, bridge, restorative bridge, whatever you feel like today. And it's not about pushing too much, it's about listening. What does your body require? Inhaling, exhaling. Inhaling, exhaling. One more breath there. And as you exhale, release. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side. Then send both knees to the right, closing the right. So both knees to the right. Keep both shoulders down onto the mat and open the hands in cactus. Look towards your left. So if the knees are to the right, you're looking to the left. Enjoy the supine twist. Close your eyes. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more breath. And as you exhale, come back to the center. And then send both knees, shuffle the hips slightly to the right and send both knees to the left. Another supine twist. More beautiful breaths. Close your right. So look to the opposite side. So if the knees are to the left, look to the right. Close your eyes. Enjoy the stillness of the breath and the silence of the mind that you've created. Inhaling, exhaling. Inhale. And as you exhale, come back into the center. Hug the knees into the chest. Bring the knees to the forehead, forehead to the knees. Strong body. Really engage the whole body. So it turns up, turns the face up. And as you exhale, release the heels down onto the mat, release the head down onto the mat, and slide the right foot forward, slide the left foot forward, and find your Shavasana. Close your eyes and allow yourself to float there for just a few moments. Floating there, perfect as you are exactly where you need to be right now. You need this, your mind needs this, your body needs this. Sink into the ground, make yourself heavy. I have a little reading for you, so stay there. Since we've done a bit on the dance today. The Lord of the Dance. The whole creation is dancing. The whole universe, galaxies, nebulae, stars, and their satellites, is engaged in the great dance. They turn and come together, 
and draw apart and come together again. And so it has ever been, and so it shall ever be for all eternity. Creation makes its own music. There is no created being that does not sing, and the music of everything that is joins together to make the great harmony and rhythm of the dance. Everything that exists treads the same measure, each according to its own rhyme, rhythm, and every individual rhythm is related to and an integral part of the rhythm of the dance. The rhythms are reflected in the life cycle of beings, and there is no part of creation which does not have its own life cycle. Whether they be creatures of the day, like some insects, or plants, or trees, or men, the rocks, and the rivers, and earth itself, the stars, and indeed the whole universe, as it is known to man. The whole universe is a dance measure, and the measure of the dance itself determines the shapes and patterns of creation. The measure and the rhythm of the measure are one and the same, and everything that exists expresses the central theme of the dance, each in its own way. The central theme is love. It's a short reading by Anthony Duncan. So feel free to stay there longer in your Shavasana, but if you're coming with me, start to take deeper breaths. Rock your head from left to right, awakening the body. Start to wriggle your toes, wriggle your feet, wriggle your fingers, circle the wrists in the air, and then send your arms overhead behind your legs together and have a nice big stretch. You can interlace the hands together and open them up and have a nice big stretch. Inhale, and as you exhale, sigh it out. Inhale, grab your knees into the chest, rock from side to side. And either rock yourself to seated or roll to one side and lift yourself up into a comfortable cross-legged position. Bring your hands onto your tummy for good food. Bring your hands onto your heart for good feelings. Bring your prayer to your mouth for good words. Bring your prayer to your third eye for good thoughts between your eyebrows. I salute the divine being within you. I am honored to be a teacher today. Jai Namaste. Bye, Dad.